afternoon. I wanted to raise some concerns about the pub. I don't have much time for this. Make it quick. This is really important, Cersei. The pub is losing money, and I think we need to make some managerial changes in order to keep the pub in business. Like what? Well, for one thing, I am here because other staff have been afraid to talk to you. Wimps. Anyways, the staff feels they are working under a gauntlet. They never know what to expect from you, and they feel they get nothing but negative feedback. And when they are not sure about what to do, they don't want to ask you, and they are not sure who to ask. This is BS. I know I'm a good leader. I'm no spring chicken, and I know that underlings respond to fear. Haven't you read Machiavelli? Yeah, but I don't think it's working so well. The morale is so low, nobody has any motivation to work hard, because they know they won't get anything, not even a little praise. I mean, maybe you could try using incentives to motivate employees and not micromanage as much. You could offer bonuses, for example, or even promotions. Nobody has gotten a raise or a promotion since we started. What? Are you saying that I'm a bad manager? No, just that there might be room for change and improvement in order to make our pub run more smoothly and bring more business. It would be a lot easier for everyone if they was an organizational chart showing who controls what tasks. And then we would all know who to talk to if there were problems or questions. Get out and don't tell me what to do. What gives you the right to talk to me like that? That's ridiculous. I don't even know what an organizational chart is. Hey, Tyrion. Can I talk to you for a second? Sure. What's up? I just tried to talk to Cersei about the situation in the pub and the way she treats us. Oh, how did that go? Terribly. She refused to listen to my concerns and kicked me out the office. That does not surprise me at all. She is a tyrant. Can I tell you something off the books? I think she is going to cause our pub to go out of business, and the rest of the staff cannot stand her. I have been trying to get her out of here for the past few months. It would be better for everyone if I was the general manager instead of Cersei. She doesn't know what she is doing. Well, she is stubborn. And she doesn't understand the impact of her management style. But I have to say, I think there's hope for her. What do you mean? She's horrible and she will destroy the pub before she'll admit that she needs to change. Listen, I hear you. But I believe she could be a great leader. And I think she may have heard some of my suggestions. It might take a little time and collaboration, but I think she might change. But we could get her fired. And then we could make changes and... No, you're wrong. That would just create more chaos and division among the staff. We need to get together to solve this, to collaborate. We've got to stop undermining each other. You are not going to believe what I just heard. I'm only telling you because I trust you. I just heard Daniel is talking to Tyrion. And the Tyrion wants to get Cersei fired so he can run the pub himself. Did he actually say that? Yes, I heard it with my own ears. <laughs>